for a two-bedroom is $1,650. Okay, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the July 1st, 2008 Board of Selectmen meeting. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Chairman, four selectmen are present. Mr. Cronin is on his way, and uh, we have the interim town administrator as well. Okay. Uh, I would like to preface a couple things this evening. Uh, we have a large audience. Um, one thing would be uh, that there are some people coming in for if anyone has a, an agenda. Um, there's some hearings tonight, so if you see some people in suits coming in, if you um, could possibly give up your seat if you aren't staying for the entire meeting um, because uh, we do have um, quite a few people coming in to uh, do business a little later on. Uh, citizens' participation, um, I would like to note that uh, I know that I think there's quite a few people here for that. I'm only going to allow uh, a few speakers, and it's only for a few minutes. And we must be uh, civil, of course, uh, because uh, nothing will be tolerated that's um, out of uh, what I would consider uh, civil. So if we could have hands raised for those that wish to speak. Six speakers. OK. Those will be the six speakers. So whoever would like to come first. I got to go first age before beauty. <laughs> Can you hear me? Uh, speak a little louder. Is this better? Yes. <clears throat> well, thank you for having an opportunity for people to speak. I've been hearing and reading about the flap over the resolution about Mr. McAuliffe, and I wanted to express my opinion to the board. So I'll only take a minute or two, I promise. Okay. To my utter amazement, I'm about to quote George W. Bush. <laughs> but he was absolutely right on when he said, I'm the decider. I mean, he appoints his cabinet. I know he has to get them approved by the Senate, but he basically appoints his cabinet members, and they're supposed to implement his policies. And, of course, they have the right, and I would think the responsibility to speak up if he, they think his facts are outdated or um, I wish they had. Um, they think he's off base or that the policy is damaging, you know, or it will backfire or something of that nature. But when push comes to shove, he's the boss, he's the decider, and they either do follow the policy implement his wishes. Or if he can't, he doesn't want to, or, he, or in good conscience he can't, he resigns. And it seems to me that that's very similar to what's here in our town. We elected you five people. We elected you to make the decisions and to run this town, and you appointed an administrator to implement those decisions and to manage the affairs of the town. Not that he shouldn't disagree with you if he thinks you're wrong. He should. He should speak up. But when push comes to shove, you are the boss. You are the deciders. And it was his job to implement your decisions. And if he didn't want to do that, he could have quit. And he didn't. And so I see it as right and appropriate that you acted to send him packing. And I commend you. I am proud of you. And Chairman Potter, if I may say this, um, it seemed to me that it speaks to your generosity of spirit that you wanted to hope to give him another chance. And I agree, when somebody makes a mistake, you give, you give him another chance, particularly if you know, the person acknowledges the error and regrets it. But when you're dealing with relationships, you got to know that if you're treated with contempt, it, doesn't pay to give another chance. It's kind of a waste of time. 
And for all my readings, Mr. McAuliffe treated this board with utmost disrespect. And for that reason, I, I applaud you. And I want to thank you all for, for being the people we elected you to be. Thank you for giving me a chance to speak. Yes, you, just for the record. Lee Carmody. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes. With all due respect to the previous speaker, I must uh, disagree. I have a uh, petition here which I'd like to read uh, to the board. It's signed by, I have a few more pages, but it's signed by my last count by 1,288 people in this community. The petition reads as follows. It says, petition to the Wareham Board of Selectmen from the citizens of the town of Wareham. The end of the institution maintenance and administration of government is to secure the existence of the body politic, to protect it and to furnish the individuals who compose it with the power of enjoying and safety and tranquility, their natural rights and the blessings of life. And whenever these great objects are not obtained, the people have a right to alter the government and to take measures necessary for their safety, prosperity and happiness. And that's a quote from the preamble to the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. On June 18, 2008, at about 12.15 a.m., the Wareham Board of Selectmen voted in favor of a resolution to remove John McAuliffe as town administrator. This vote was taken even though there was no mention of such a resolution on the agenda for the meeting. This vote was taken at the tail end of a five and a half hour meeting at a time when very few members of the public were present. The resolution had already been written and was read by one of the selectmen. There was little discussion, even though, as we all recognize, the position of town administrator is a key one in our system of town government. This vote was taken against a dedicated professional who acts in the best interests of the town of Wareham. A sense of fairness and decency compels us to request that the Board of Selectmen reverse their vote in favor of the resolution to remove John McCullough from his position as town administrator. And again, as I stated, it's signed by 1,288, by my last count, uh, people in this community. And I want to take a moment here also to thank the people in the community who have signed this petition for making their voices heard and in this manner for participating in our democracy. I think it's very important. And I would also ask the board when you would be taking up this request that we've making, made in our petition. And if I might, Mr. Potter, I just want to approach to hand the petitions yep, to you. That's fine. Okay. Uh, is, is in terms of taking up a, um, an action based on uh, the petitions, it, uh, it will probably follow any time after citizens' participation at this meeting. At this, at this meeting? Yes. Under which section of the agenda? Well, it probably is under other town business, but we Mr. can always uh, take things out of order. Mr. Chairman, right, can I make a suggestion? Yes. Why don't we just take the vote right now? Mr. Chairman, if I might. Well, no, I, I want to hear from the other citizens, yes, and it has to happen to very quickly. Thank you. I meant so, after citizens' okay. participation. Sure, that will be fine. Thank you. Oh, okay, Mr. Pasevich is next after. Yes, good evening. I'm Carol Achardi. And um, I just need to say a couple of things. You folks all campaigned very hard for the seats you now hold. You did so in a manner that we should be able to trust you and that you would do conduct your business as the board and representatives of the town in a professional and ethical manner. I have no idea whether you were justified in your actions against Mr. McAuliffe or not. But I have been a professional my entire life, and I cannot see how you can possibly, each or any one of you, justify the manner in which this was handled. The man has a right to know the action that was going to be taken against him, and the citizens of Wareham had that right, and you owed it to us 